all of us from all four corners of Minnesota because we know that our state has come to a fork in the road. One road leads to dependency on the far left, the other to freedom. Individual rights, limited government, and free enterprise. And while all elections determine which direction our state goes, whether to the left or the right, this year, the contrast is much clearer. The stakes are much higher. We simply cannot afford another four years of DFL dysfunction in the governor's office. And now we face the most important question our party must answer. Who is the best candidate to be endorsed as a Republican candidate to win the primary in August and defeat the Democrats in November? I, res I respectfully submit I am that candidate. And even, even, the de even the Democrats seem to agree. One DFL source told the Star and Tribune that their side should be, and I quote, terrified of me because I am a smart suburban woman who can break, crack the Republican statewide losing streak. The Democrats understand that even with the overwhelming support Republicans have in greater Minnesota, that there are enough, not enough Republican voters to win unless Republicans endorse a new smart candidate that can persuade independent voters and win the suburbs. <laughs> history, history teaches us that when we courageously forge a brand new path, when we have the foresight to break tr from tradition, to elect and endorse a, a new candidate, we elect bold, strong leaders who have served our party with distinction. Just one year ago, you did that when you elected Jennifer Carnahan as our state party chair. In 2016, millions of Republicans from across the country boldly broke from tradition when they voted for newcomer Donald J. Trump to make America great again. And he came within 1.5 points of winning in Minnesota. I too am a newcomer as a statewide Republican candidate but I'm not new to our shared Republican principles. Under a Stevens-Backer administration, we will partner with the Republican leadership in the House and in the Senate, and we will enact major conservative reforms. We will put an end to the anti-mining attitude that has dominated our state government for the last eight years. We will instill a culture of responsible use of our natural resources because we know our farmers are the best stewards of the land that supplies our way of life. And it's long past time we tell the federal government no more refugee resettlement in Minnesota until, until we get a serious screening program that accepts refugees who want to come here for the right reason. And that reason is to work hard and obey our laws. And we will impose financial penalties on sanctuary cities that choose to defy our state and federal laws. We will proudly speak for life from conception to natural death. And we will boldly protect our Second Amendment rights. As governor, I will stand firmly in my unyielding belief that no government program can replace faith and strong families as the center of American life. We Republicans, we are caring and compassionate and kind, and we take care of those who are in need. But we don't want our government wasting taxpayer dollars to give it to those who don't need it, or worse yet, send it overseas to fund terrorism. We measure success not by how many people we can get to join government programs, but by how many people we can free from government programs. 
We know the need of a strong business economy where individuals invest their time and resources and passion to create jobs and grow our economy. The role of the government should be to reduce taxes, reduce regulations, and provide for a well-educated workforce. We will have tax reform and simplify and lower taxes. We will get Minnesota out of the top 10 in every major tax category so that middle-class Minnesotans can keep more of what they earn. And, and, and we will end the horrible practice of taxing Social Security on our seniors. We will abolish the Met Council. And we will replace it, and we will replace it with elected officials and a limited scope. We will champion school choice, and we will bring back economically relevant programming into our classrooms so that our students are being educated, not indoctrinated. In healthcare, we must put the needs of the patients first. Patients working with their medical providers to come up with the care that best meets the needs of the patients not the whims of bureaucrats or indifferent corporations. Make no mistake, this Italian grandma has the grit and the determination to take on the wasteful spenders and insiders at the Capitol. I, I will not compromise on our principles. I will not compromise on our beliefs, and I will not compromise on our values. As conservatives, we are committed to a society that honors human dignity, that promotes responsibility, and that rewards those who plan and sacrifice for the future. The people of Minnesota are ready to elect a new leader that attracts voters by connecting our conservative values to their hopes and aspirations. My friends, I am that leader. Therefore, we will work hard every day. We will know where we came from. We will not forget you. We will not forget who brought us here. Therefore, we respectfully ask for your vote to endorse us as Republican governor and lieutenant governor because the Stevens backer ticket can and will win in August and again in November. Working, to, working together with God and the Constitution as our guide, we will restore our state to one that protects life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. God bless you. May God bless Minnesota and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.